Okay, so um, this is a job I went to where I was unable to top up the boiler pressure. As you see here, the filling loop is fully open and the boiler's got an E119 fault code because the pressure, I can't get high enough. As you see, it's less than a bar here. Um, and this is how I resolve it so I can get out the door and get onto the next job. I put that there just to make it easier for me. Uh, here I am letting the air out of the expansion vessel and as you saw I left that filling loop wide open um, so as I let the air out of the vessel the water um, the water pressure was equalizing so more water is going into the boiler to take up the place of that air so you'll see this gauge is rising slightly here it slowly is a bit hard to see I do turn the camera in a second but that pressure is very slowly creeping back up to where it was a minute ago. So that's probably settled now. That's about where it where it was before. And now you see I've closed the filling loop now. So no water can escape the system. I know there's meant to be a non-return, but just in case. And um, here we go. Sorry about this camera work. I'm in a loft. The roof is coming down on top of my head. It's really difficult to uh, to film and do this. As you can see, I've got a head torch on. No light in there. There's pipes underneath the boiler, so I can't even get in front of it. I'm sideways on. There we go. So I connect my pump in. It was down well, well below one bar. And now... You can see I'll just pump it up. Now, yeah, I am pumping above. I'll usually set all vessels to three quarters of the bar, but there I pumped it up just above one. And as you can see now, look, we've got that needle up into the green. And uh, if I turn the boiler on, I heard the, the I heard the water pressure switch click. That's how I need to stop here. Turn it on, 16 lights on. Boiler's about to try and run. Um, so that's it, it was as easy as that. There was, there was another issue with this boiler, so I had E119 on my arrival. Uh, once I got it, once I got the pressure up high enough to get rid of the E119 fault code, which is obviously low water pressure, the boiler then failed to light. And done a E133, I think it was, fault code, which is flame failure. Um, Anyway, that was just, uh, you know, you know, you get that graphite stuff in the gas valve. So the gas valve was just completely blocked with that, which I whipped out, um, tapped it all out, and the boiler ran. And then obviously I'd done all my, f you know, flu air gas safety, and uh, this boiler was fixed. So it was a, it was a result, really, because that's something that can really hold you up.